Hello everyone, Jose Rodriguez back again with the continuing series on basic printing. This will be episode number four, where we will explore the settings that are necessary to just simply print through the printer driver. Forget about color management, we're not going to get into that yet. We are assuming that we are all rank beginners. We just got ourselves a hold of a copy of Photoshop and we have our standard image opened up. This is an image that you can download from inkjetcarts.us. There are many such images that you can download from various sites. It is a 40 megabyte TIFF file and it contains many examples of what a normal photograph would be. And so it's a great image to use to test out your printer. The reason we want to do that is to figure out whether the printer by itself is capable of printing a correctly rendered print. So let's go ahead. We're not going to do anything to this image. You're not supposed to touch it any way, shape or form. You are supposed to open it and immediately go over to your printer dialog. In Photoshop, that would be file and print. Later on, when you are able to get a hardware calibrator, you will then calibrate your monitor for complete linearity of color, meaning that it will be correctly neutral from the darkest shade of any color to the lightest shade of that same particular color without changing hue. It will also have the correct luminance for your viewing conditions depending on the ambient light intensity of the room you are doing your editing in. All right, let's go into the printer driver. I'm going to go ahead and pick a printer that a lot of you may be familiar with, the Canon Pro 100. Then we'll go ahead and do a basic Epson printer. Okay, so now we have opened our dialog to reflect the Canon Pro 100 series. And before we do anything whatsoever, we're going to make sure that we pick printer manages colors, not Photoshop. Not yet, anyway. Later on, we will be doing that. But right now, I just want you to use the printer driver. Assume this is the very first time you have ever printed a photograph. So we'll go ahead and let the printer driver do its magic for you. We will click on print settings. This will open up a new window. Here we want to do the following. We want to make sure that we have photo printing chosen, not standard. Often standard will be the default setting. Standard is for mixed media like text and graphics. We want to do continuous tone photographs. So we will choose photo printing. Unless you want borderless, we'll uncheck that for the time being. And we're going to go to color intensity, manual adjustment. Go to matching and go to ICM. Here we will pick standard, auto, perceptual. Now we're going to choose our paper type. I love my luster paper, so we'll choose luster for this particular demonstration. Quality. Quality pertains to the resolution of the ink droplets. In other words, the higher the quality, the more closely together will be the little droplets. In other words, you will have more droplets per square inch of printed image in high than you will in standard. Don't worry about the actual resolution yet. Don't worry about that. Just pick high and then we're going to pick our letter size paper. We're going to do just a small letter size print. Hit OK. That's it. Print. That's all you have to do. Let me go back to one thing that we did when we were in the printer driver settings and we clicked on color intensity manual adjustment and we went to matching and we told it to use auto, it's going to automatically apply the correct profile. Don't even go in there yet. Don't get confused. Just leave it on auto, relative or perceptual. One of those two, either one. You can do each a pair of prints using either setting in the one that you like the best. That's what you should be using later on. And that is it. Now let's go over to the Epson printer. So we're going to choose the Veronable Stylus Pro 3800. That is one of the workhorses from Epson. So you can see I have tons of printers. We'll stick with the 3800. We'll go to print settings. Notice printer manages colors also. In this case, we will do the following. Now I have mine defaulted to allow me to use proper color management through the editing application. We're going to go ahead and turn that off. We're just going to go to color controls 
advanced Epson standard RGB and that's what we will use we'll use 22 this is for Windows this is for Mac so we're going to use Windows if we're using Windows or Gamma 1.8 if you're using a Mac now all we have to do is pick our paper type I have my trusty favorite photo luster of course we're printing color of course I want quality resolution and so sheet letter size now you could do automatic if you do automatic it's going to select that same setting that I did manually so you can do it either way you select automatic and choose one of these I suggest you stick with Epson standard sRGB in the beginning of your printing career before you get too ahead of yourself this will give you a good starting point all of these other tabs have to do with paper layout and such don't get involved with that just yet we're just going to go ahead and print a basic image fitted to a letter size 8.5 by 11 and this is all you have to do these are the settings that you have to set your driver to in order to get a good result on your print now you may look in here and notice that the print is much larger than the paper you just have to click scale to fit in this case the image is smaller than the paper so as you see when i say scale to fit it actually enlarges it a little bit but not necessary go ahead and leave it at this size if you wish and hit print and that's it those are the two basic settings you need to do in order to achieve initial printing good results with your Canon your basic Canon printer and your basic Epson printers all right so until the next time please share please subscribe and please like as always happy printing bye bye